The field is painted here at Levi Stadium and the rain is starting to sprinkle down on this Friday afternoon, but the rain should be gone. It should be nice and sunny for 49ers Buccaneers on Sunday. Your 49ers update is that they are indeed planning to sign Jason Verrett, the cornerback to their practice squad. This comes straight from the horse's mouth. Kyle Shanahan said it during his press conference a little bit earlier. Verrett, recently released by the Houston Texans practice squad, worked out for the 49ers yesterday, and the 49ers hope to have something done by early next week with Jason Verrett. The weekend still has to pass before that can come to fruition. I think the only thing that could really uh, stall progress right now is if Jason Verrett gets offered an active roster spot, which would be more money by another team. But the 49ers can certainly use another talented cornerback, a veteran, an accomplished veteran on their practice squad with the flexibility of moving him up to the active roster, either through a temporary flex or through an outright promotion a little bit later in the season. Remember, it was about a year ago on the practice field right here at the 49ers facility when Jason Verrett suffered the second Achilles tear of his career. So that ended his season. Heartbreaking news for a guy who has suffered two ACL tears and two Achilles tears over the course of his NFL lifespan. Uh, the fact that Jason Verrett is back in position where he's impressing NFL teams like the 49ers with his workouts, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. I remember after the last injury, in 2022, people took to social media and said, okay, this is it, he's retiring. No, he's not. He impressed enough to get a spot with the Houston Texans for five weeks on their practice squad. And in, in many ways, that could be like a farm system appearance for the 49ers, because I guarantee you that the 49ers staff talks with the Texans staff. D'Amico Ryans and, and his guys, Bobby Slowick, are all over there. So the 49ers know what kind of shape Jason Brett is in. They must have gotten good reviews for him to stick there for five weeks. Uh, that that's also a good sign coming off that that Achilles tear. So now the 49ers work them out in person and they do want to bring Jason Verrett in. They're happy with their outside cornerback play as it stands right now. They've got Traverius Ward who's playing well. They have Diometer Lenore who's playing well. Diometer Lenore hasn't given up a touchdown in 348 consecutive snaps. That is the third longest streak in the National Football League. But Lenore is now kicking inside more often. That leads to Ambry Thomas playing on the outside. Thomas obviously had a nice game against Jacksonville, but the point is that you can never have too much cornerback depth. You always want to be sprucing that position up, and Jason Verrett is a logical answer for the 49ers to do that. Just his perseverance... Right, going through all these injuries, the two ACLs, the two Achilles tears. 49ers have seen so many of these season-ending injuries on their watch. But Verrett's perseverance, I think, is a good example in the locker room. Remember last year after he got hurt, the 49ers players put on T-shirts honoring Jason Verrett. They wore him at that warm-up of the next game. That gives you a, a nice idea of, of what this guy and, and his work ethic means. That the 49ers locker room is filled with so many star players, so much respect for the football acumen in there. For example, the other day, Christian McCaffrey said that Trent Williams is the best player that he's ever seen. So then the message was relayed to Trent, and Trent Williams said, well, that's funny because I could say the same thing about Christian McCaffrey. It's like an actual Pro Bowl in that locker room. I mean, Nick Bosa and Trent Williams meet after every single game at Trent's locker. And then you've got the, the star-studded room stopping by, poking their heads in. Christian McCaffrey before George Kittle is in that locker room as well. Javon Harger. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And the top-rated quarterback in the NFL, obviously, Brock Purdy. So it, it's a who's who's collection in the 49ers locker room. And adding Jason Verrett, a good culture guy who's already been and succeeded in that locker room, had a really good 2020 season for the 49ers, adding him would only help. So the 49ers are excited about that coming up this next week. If it is indeed possible, they do want to do it. Right now, this team is remarkably healthy. The only player on the injury report is Aaron Banks, who has the turf toe injury. And Kyle Shanahan said that Aaron might be good to go for the Thursday night game against Seattle. So they're not going to make him play two games in, in one week on the short rest coming up. But Aaron's going to be out. John Feliciano played really well at left guard in his place in Jacksonville. Feliciano's going to be uh, doing the same thing here against Tampa Bay, a team that's got a very solid interior because Vita Vea is one of the better defensive uh, tackles in football. So it's going to be a big, big challenge for John Feliciano, left guard, Jake Brendel at center, and Spencer Burford, a right guard, to sustain the improvement 
that they showed last week. Technically, Nick Zakel is also on the injury report, but he's soon to be placed on injured reserve, and he's done for the season. Zakel, surgery on his torn biceps muscle, which he sustained during garbage time of the game against Jacksonville. Typical storm system stuff. The planes are landing at San Jose Airport instead, uh, and landing over Levi Stadium instead of taking off over Levi Stadium. The, the wind patterns are inverted whenever that happens. And thankfully, I'm, I'm staying dry over the course of giving this update. The 49ers also have the players who are on injury lists whose practice windows have opened. Uh, they're Robert Beal Jr., who actually won one of the Scout Team Player of the Week awards. Uh, this week, he's an edge rusher. He probably emulated Tampa Bay edge rusher Shaq Barrett at practice. So the 49ers can activate him at any time. I don't think that they will uh, because there is no room to activate him right now. But there's Beal. There's Darrell Luter Jr., who is the rookie defensive back out of South Alabama. He's also been back out at practice. And then there is Samuel Womack, who is the veteran, the second year uh, defensive back out of Toledo, who was on injured reserve but is eligible to be promoted to the Ross active roster. I, in all likelihood, only Womack is, uh, sees the field for the 49ers this year. I would be surprised if Beal or Darrell Luter Jr. saw the field, barring the presence of a lot of injuries that the 49ers need to fill in for. But I think that their plan all along has been to activate Womack and give Beal and give Darrell Luter Jr some time in practice just in case they're needed this year and obviously they've got this three-week window to work on their games because they are rookies and they want to acclimate to the nfl level the window again is three weeks long so we're in week two of the three-week activation window for those three players if the 49ers do not activate any of them this week next week would be the last chance to do so and as i mentioned they're currently so healthy that there's no real room to insert an activated player into so you might as well just uh, stretch out this practice window as long as possible to see if something happens this weekend to see where your needs might be i think that the 49ers they were talking about an open tryout of their practice squad linemen to try to fill in for Nick Zakel's spot because he's on the 53, but pretty soon won't be taking up a 53-man spot once he goes to IR. So you're talking about guys like Jesse Davis, Henry Bird, Il Manning on the inside. I think that the most likely option is that the 49ers just carry 52 this weekend and flex Samuel Womack from injured reserve to the 53rd spot on the roster. It might be a Womack spot, and then if you need an extra lineman on a week-by-week -week basis, you can just flex that lineman up temporarily from the practice squad. One more piece of injury news, Danny Gray had the shoulder sprain at the end of training camp that put him on injured reserve. Cal Shanahan said that Danny Gray is healthy, he's ready to go, but same issue. It's a, it's a numbers issue for the 49ers right now. Guys aren't hurt, which is a great thing. The team is notably healthy, especially relative to recent seasons. And Danny Gray is just waiting on ice right now for when the 49ers might need him. So the speedster is healthy, but obviously still on injured reserve. All right, next time you'll see me from this spot, it will be game day, Sunday, 49ers, Buccaneers. That's your 49ers update. We'll talk to you soon.